Toronto Junior Girls Sprint Finals. Take your places, please. Take your marks. Get set. She's doing her best. I know she is, Sue. You got going real good toward the end there. It just takes me a while to get going. It's a little too late, dear. Yeah, well, you just take your time in the flip turns and uh, keep your head down like I told you. No, but I hate opening my eyes underwater. <laughs> I'll just try harder next time. Yes, well, I think that's just about enough of this sort of thing. What? Why? <laughs> it's just been one disappointment after another, Marilyn. It's not healthy. A young lady needs her self-respect. And self-respect comes from pride, pride in what we do well. You make me quit everything. I love swimming, I don't wanna stop. Let's just try to find you something that you're good at, dear. Small fry, I just cleaned that. You lost or something? I, um, I'd like to see Gus Ryder, please. Oh, goody, let me guess. The next Esther Williams, right? <sighs> Try the pool, princess. From now on, every single one of you is gonna work your tails off. If you can take it, great. If not, you're gone. See you tomorrow. Mr. Ryder? Yeah? I'm uh, Marilyn. Marilyn Bell. Uh, I'm a swimmer. A sprinter, actually. Yeah, so? Well, uh, you're the best. 
this says. So I was wondering, um, could I please train with you? Because I think it's going to take a, a great coach to... <laughs> I mean, I really want to win a gold medal uh, someday. What's your best time? What do you mean? 50 yards. What's your best time in the 50? Oh, uh, a minute 10. Well, that's too slow. Everybody here does it in under a minute. Try the Dolphinettes. Wait, it's been quite a while since I was timed. I, I might be better. Uh, hold on. No, 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 wait a minute. This is not the time. Wait a second, Just a please. Just a sprint, okay? I'll be fast, I swear. Here you go. Okay. Go! One ten, and your turns are a mess. Sorry. Let me try it again. I'll do better. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Good luck. Hey, kid. Pool's closed. Amps gray. No, no, wait. I'll do. I'll do much better. Watch this. Hey, I said get out. Marilyn, get out of the pool. Lock up what she's through. If I'm late again for dinner, my wife will kill me. But I've got a date. Good meal. Thank you. Hey. We'll spend more time together after, after this. After this next, next big, big race. race. I'm sorry. <laughs> you probably even fix the porch swing. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Ryder. Is Gus there? Yes, he's right here. Who is it? It's Joan. Hello. What? Yeah, okay. I gotta go back to the club. I tried everything. A little twerk just won't stop. What are you doing? Um, I'm trying to beat my time. She's been going at it for two hours. I'm down to one six. Two hours straight. And you're not tired. Pig-headed pride is wasted on sprinting. You ought to be in distance. On my marathon team. Hmm? Marathoners get to swim all over the world. The English Channel, the Juan de Fuca Strait. And right now the club's training for tryouts for that big race in Atlantic City. You get to set records and swim for money and meet other famous swimmers at events. Like, like Florence Chadwick? Yes! <laughs> Can you believe it? No, no. You can't place in a little race in a pool, dear, and now you think you're a marathon swimmer? Well, the best coach in the country wants me, Mom. Well, I cannot believe you went down there and pestered that poor man. Well, if he sees something in her. Oh, and do you plan on waking up at 4 a.m. every single solitary morning to take her to practice? Pick her up nights, weekends? Get her to school on time? Get yourself to work? Yes, Grace, I will. Gladly. We've spent millions on new exhibit buildings. This is the biggest marketplace in the world. The greatest annual fair this century. And they stay away in droves. Why? Yeah, public relations, sir. They did a lousy job promoting. Well, if uh, special events booked anything, it's worth promoting. I can say there was nothing wrong with my events, sir. Uh, Patsy here just 
Can't cut the mustard. Oh, I can cut it with the best of them. You gave me water skiing donkeys. How am I supposed to work with that? That would only fly with other jackasses. Like you, Mark. Quiet! People stay at home to watch this. The 1954 Canadian National Exhibition must compete with this and win. I want a live event so immense, so magnificent, it's too big for TV. Something that can only be seen at the c &E. A class act with star power. You two find it, or you'll be picking my shoe leather out of your underwear at the unemployment office. Listen up, this is our newest team member, Marilyn Bell. Hi. Jump in. No, 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 no. Jump in. Well, I, I can't swim in this. What? I said I can't swim in this. What? I said I... Okay. Do I keep the shoes on? Clothes are drag weight. Resistance. Marathoning is overcoming resistance on many levels. From now on, on this team, you do as I say, when I say, and how I say. Okay, everybody in, 10 laps, go. Make your stroke steady. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Okay, marathon is pacing, not racing. Slice the water. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. That's it. Kick, Marilyn. Come on, kick. Two more lanes and only 40 strokes a minute. Now take off the clothes and try it. It's like I weigh nothing. Okay, okay, come on, get back at it. Go! Dazzle me. Roger Bannister. Reruns the four minute mile. Over too quick. <sighs> Just what I said. Uh, Rocky Marciano. Rematch the title fight. Too bloody. I told you so. A Barbara and Scott ice show. <laughs> where am I going to get ice in August? <laughs> That's exactly so where you're going to find it. <clears throat> now, this can't move, sir. Think back to 33. Sally Rand single-handedly turned around the Chicago World's Fair. Strippers? Uh, sir, just picture that. Half-naked women, dance numbers, hot jazz. It would be sold out in seconds. This is a 
family show, Marin. Yeah, yeah, but um, <clears throat> you, you can't see it on TV. That's because it's tasteless and vulgar, dummy. Oh, stop okay. it! What else have you got? We'll, we'll keep, keep looking. looking. Daddy, we gotta go. Oh. What? Honey, it's the holidays. Gus says we can't afford to miss two days in a row. Well, what difference could it possibly make? You're not racing tomorrow or anything. Well, the Atlantic City tryouts are coming up, and I want to be ready. Well, don't set your sights too high, Marilyn. It'll only lead to a big fall. Are you keeping her? I don't really know. There is something about her, though. Mm -hmm. Call it a long-term investment. Long, 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 long term? Practice. Good practice. Marilyn! What? I was counting. I was thinking. Rope off. Okay, everybody listen up. Tomorrow we move to the Port Frederick River to begin the final stage of our training for the first big swim of the year, the Atlantic City Marathon Trials. Marilyn, shake a leg. Uh-huh. Come on, it's not that cold. Get in. What's the matter? Nothing, really. Then get in. I'm, uh... I'm just a little... Well, you know, there's probably some, uh, fish and stuff in there. It's a river, Marilyn. Rivers have fish. I'm, uh... 
I just have trouble with creatures. Joan, take her over to the reeds. But the reeds are the worst. Everything's in the reeds. Then go home. What? You don't swim marathons in pools. If you can't cut it, go home. Okay, I'll go. Marilyn. The reeds. Hurry up, Marilyn. Oh, it's full of bugs. I can't do this. Fine. Ryder can't stand crybabies. He'll cut you loose like that. Are you? Oh, well, that's only because you can't do your job. Oh, You're if you want to lose those flippers, teeth, you just keep on I talking, okay? Shh. Is this Hollywood's latest soda counter discovery? Why, no. It's American swimming sensation Florence Chadwick enjoying yet another victory. This time, it's the English Channel, the first woman ever to swim it both ways. Assuring our flow is still the undisputed world champion of the water. Way to go, flow. We've got a real peach of a plan for you this time, Mr. McBlair. The Canadian National Exhibition presents First ever, world record setting, marathon swim across Lake Ontario. It'd be the longest swim ever done in the world. 32 miles as the crow flies, much more difficult than the English Channel. Now, we'd start here in Youngstown, New York. And finish right here in the lap of the 1954 Canadian National Exhibition. And you can't see it on television. Oh, no. You've got to be right here mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. Long swim. I wouldn't want to set up something this big just to see it fail. Do, do, do you have anyone? Florence Chadwick. God, yes. Brilliant. What a great idea. Oh, thank, thank you, Mr. McClure. God, I hope she'd be interested. What do you think she'd cost me? Ten. <clears throat> Ten thousand dollars. Canadian. Engaging talent of Miss Chadwick's caliber. English channeled both ways in the Strait of Gibraltar in the same year for a first ever crossing of an unknown, dangerous 32 mile Great Lake swim. I don't see how you could have expected anything less. But let's set money aside for the moment. Hmm? We'll also require the right to cancel in the event of unsafe weather conditions, and we call the start time. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, is that all? It's really just the fee. Oh, perhaps you'd like to get back to us on that. No, 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 no. If you need $10,000, I'll get $10,000. Well, then. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. McBland. McBlair, George. The pleasure's all mine. Thank, Thank you, Miss Chadwick. Oh, yes, yes. Gee, perfect. That's a bona fide 
class act. We could make a world-class show of shows of this. <laughs> a, a spectacle of resplendence. <laughs> a great lady meets a great lake. Hmm? It's brilliant. <laughs> uh, can't let this be cheapened in any way. Can't have a bunch of nobodies riding on our coattails. <laughs> Local swimmers. I need to get them out of the way. How do I do it? The theme of the 1954 CNE is water. And as part of our commitment to the local community, we'll be presenting a 20 mile relay race in the Toronto Harbor with the country's best swimmers and a prize of $500. Oh, Come on, kid. I bet you'll be up there next year. But our main event is unprecedented. We even made an exclusive deal with this country's best newspaper, the Toronto Telegram, to do it. During our finale of world-class festivities, a world first, the longest marathon swim ever attempted in history, crossing the Great Lake Ontario. Our invitational swim starts in Youngstown, New York, and finishes right here at the fairgrounds. Please welcome our choice to swim Lake Ontario first, the world's swimming sensation, the queen of waters everywhere, Miss Florence Chadwick. Florence Chadwick swimming here? This looks fit to kill. Oh, yeah. This is insulting. It should have been offered to one of our swimmers. Just Why because she's American, she must be better than yeah. us. Yeah, see all the publicity she's getting? Never heard of anybody. Yeah. They have an American? American? I mean... Well, you've seen the front page of the telly. That bastard McBlair. Thinks he can treat us like a bunch of nobodies. Well, he's got another thing coming. You know what we're gonna do? Huh? We're going to win every single place at the Atlantic City Marathon and humiliate him. Embarrass him into admitting his mistake. Okay? I want Cliff, Harry, Robert, Kevin, Peter, and... Alan. Okay, qualification swims first thing. Okay, they'll rue the day, goddammit. to Atlantic City? No, we're not taking any rookies this year. Can't I just try out? What are you, deaf? We have to win this. This race is 26 miles, Marilyn. What's the most you've done? Six? Six? Qualifications, ten. And it's in the ocean and you're afraid of fish, for Christ's sakes. You'll swim for my club when I know you won't embarrass us, and not one day before. Right? 
a mile up, a mile down, until I've done ten, right? This is the wrong way to make a point, Marilyn. And besides, the rules are you need two witnesses to make this official. herself for Atlantic City. Well, she isn't going anywhere. But Gus... I had to cut you right now. You know better than to pull a stunt like this. What if something had happened? Well, it's not her fault you wouldn't give me a chance. I'll get to you in a second. Hey, I work hard for this. I can do it. You still treat me like a loser. Her time is as good as the worst guy you're taking. If they get a chance, she should too. I don't have a spotter. I'll spot her. I'll get time off my job to go with her. sign of trouble. Check the infirmary again, will you? It looks like one of our ladies is unable to finish the race today, folks. She gave it a great effort being pulled out of the water after 10 miles. It's a tough break. They put heart and soul into this, but sometimes just too much for them. do this. I knew it was a mistake. And here comes our seventh place finisher. It's... It's a ladies number, folks. It's another member of the Lakeshore swim team. So the 1954 women's champion is... Marilyn Dow. Ladies and gentlemen, Marilyn Bell. How the hell did she manage it? Well, she's pig-headed, even more than you. Every time I tried to pull her, she'd just get ticked and go all the harder. I guess your long-term investment's just paying off a little early. Hold it. Thank you. Congratulations, Ryder. Looks like you found the next Florence Chadwick.
sure showed me. Marilyn, I got an idea for you. Swim Lake Ontario? Are you crazy? Isn't that dangerous? Isn't that why it hasn't been done? Why, honey? Why would you want to do such a thing? Well, Gus says I should. Gus says it's the opportunity of a lifetime. Are you sure she can do this? Well, I won't lie to you. It's going to be difficult. It's the longest swim ever done in the world. But I never have and I never will jeopardize the safety of one of my kids. Marilyn isn't one of your kids, Mr. Ryder. She's, she's one of ours. I realize that. I meant no disrespect. We can't do any of this without your permission. Um, isn't, isn't Florence Chadwick doing this already? Marilyn would be taking Chadwick on. She'd be racing the world champion. Does that mean she could win some of that money that they're offering? Would Marilyn be in the newspapers? Uh, who's going to pay for all of this? Uh, the boats, the crews? It all costs money, doesn't it? I'll take care of all the details. You don't have to worry about a thing. I would never let her do anything you both wouldn't be proud of. Racing Florence Chadwick, you're trying to be the Great Lake. I don't like what you said in there about doing it because I said you should. Why? Marilyn, that lake's gonna be tougher than Atlantic City and the English Channel combined. It's big enough to create its own weather. 32 miles of wide open water, no shelter, 10 foot swells, a cross current at her lip, like moving through glue. Niagara Falls pouring in thousands of pounds a minute. Four or five good-sized rivers all doing the same, like a pot on a rolling boil. And cold. 60 degrees this time of the year. Don't kid yourself. You do this for you because you want it. For you. All I ever wanted was to be a winner. Because if you want it, I'll make sure you finish. I promise. I want it. You're sure? Yes, Gus, I am. Okay. Good night. Good night. Stars got standards. You don't go in for that phony Hollywood crap the telly's putting out. Glamour, star power, showbiz comes to New Toronto. They're treating Flo Chadwick like she was a movie queen. Well, gentlemen, all the glitters is not gold. What you see before you today is the real McCoy, 24 karat girl next door. It's a nice angle, but what's in it for us? Well, for the cost of the boats and the crew, you get the good guy girl Exclusive. Local kid stands up for her sport, for her country, makes us all proud. People love that stuff. They buy papers that push it. But I don't have to tell you gentlemen that. Underdog stories can backfire like that. And she's kind of small for distance, isn't she? Size has nothing to do with it. Up against the world champ? She's got a lot of heart, gentlemen. But can't she do it? Sir, I know you don't know me, but if you ask anybody who does, when I make up my mind to do something, I do it. I'm no quitter. All I need is a chance. We did it, we did it, we did it! <laughs> what? I told you not to say anything. I'm sorry. You were terrific. But now you've got to deliver. Exhibition opened in Toronto yesterday with the usual pomp and circumstance. 
CNE <laughs> officials expect this year's theme of aquatic sports will attract record crowds, with special attention yeah. focusing, of course, on the first ever crossing of Lake Ontario by star swimmer Florence Chadwick. Girl next door, 16, defies CNE, defends Canada's honor against Yankee Star. Will you go, Myron? You started that whole Yankee Star crap. I didn't drop 10 Gs to be savaged in the press. I can't have my greatest event dragged through the mud like this. Uh, uh, Mr. McBlair, um, I thought if I may, what if we let the kid try out the lake? I mean, how far is she gonna get? She's 16, she has no experience, and we have got Florence Chadwick. She swam the English Channel. Sir, um, there's no way that she's even going to pose a threat to Flo, uh, let alone come close to the finish line. We look generous, it, accommodating. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. We'll come out of this smelling like a rose. <laughs> This is it. Welcome to the Karina. Jack, this is Marilyn. Marilyn, this is Jack Russell, our helmsman. Ah, Bernie. This is Dr. Bernie Walensky, the owner of the Karina. He'll be the pilot for the swim. Welcome aboard. Don't be shy. Pile in. <laughs> Make yourselves right at home. <laughs> Here, let me give you a hand. Yeah, please. yeah, come on. Now, watch your head now. There you go. Here, let me take that for you. There you go. Let me help you out, sir. There. I'm just uh, a little... Nervous, I bet. <laughs> Marilyn Bell, right? Mark Harrison, photographer. And this is Jerry Wilson, radio man. <laughs> We're covering your swim for the star. What's he doing here? Jeez, you're not gonna believe this. I finally convinced him into giving me a real A story in Cuba. Then they yanked me off the plane at the last minute for this swimming gig. George Bryant, reporter. Marilyn Bell, swimmer. Hey, uh, no offense, miss. It's, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you on board. Hey, kid. Oh, God, Joan. Where have you been? What's wrong? Kid, I, I can't come. My stupid boss won't let me off on a weekday. How am I gonna do this without you? I need you. All aboard for Youngstown, New York. Come on, Marilyn, let's go. Come here. Down. Patsy McKinnon, Myron Peters, CNE. Uh, how are you, sir? Mr. McBlair suggested that we go over a few details before the swim. Uh, the rules of the game, if you will. Now, the swim will start from the pier off Youngstown Hotel. That's the cleanest route across the lake. Yes, it's about a 15-minute drive due north from here. Way around that far point we passed coming in. It's about a half hour to get the boats up there. Is there a start time yet? 
Uh, no, no, uh, Miss Chadwick will decide the start time. It could be any time over the next three days. When she tells us, we'll tell you. Well, we'd like about two hours' notice when you do know, so we can be ready. Oh, well, we'll do our very best to accommodate you, sir. And that's it? Yes, that's all. Questions? No. Well, best of luck to the little one. Mm. Just a few words. Oh, Miss Chadwick, will you swim today? Florence. Florence over here. Big smile for the Toronto Telegram. How do you feel about racing a 16-year-old? Yeah, my contract doesn't say anything about a race. I was invited to swim the lake, and I don't really think much about who else may think they should try it. Here. One quick picture, Matthew. A quick yeah, word. Too windy. Not today. Oh. Just one more question. Okay, okay, okay. Any time now, fellas. Don't go far. Don't go far. Oh, come on now. So now, what do we do? We wait. Very soon, she will get in that lake. I promise you. We'll make sure of it. Mr. Freeman, sir. Uh, if you just have a moment of your time. If you could please... Um, Please, please, please impress upon Miss Chadwick again that we are running out of time, sir. So if we wanted to make the closing ceremonies, we would have... Uh... It's been four days, Sid. What about your job? Shh. Well, they're not going to wait on you forever, dear. You bloody boat! Do you realize there's only three days left before we close? Three days before I kick your keisters from here to kingdom come. You're going to get us both fired. <laughs> well, it was your idea to book her royal I won't swim in the rain, Highness. Well, maybe if you weren't so busy kissing her royal bottom, uh, she would get off it and start working for her money. Uh, hmm? Chief, I'll, I'll send you a story when there's a story to send. Tell me that story. Hello? Shit. Hey, buddy. You for this lake fiasco? Yeah, for the telly in Toronto. Well, you want a story? I'll swim the lake right now. Yeah, sure. Come on. You're gonna wait till Christmas for these females to get their act together. I'll do it right now. I'm Illinois state champ. Shit. Chief? What? The telly's got a man in the lake. Where's our kid? George says they're sitting tight. So the telly's got a story and we got squat. Terrific. We're screwed.
Pershner's a fool. The winds are ridiculous. Now please, Myron. This idiot's stealing our whole freaking show! Do something. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Sir, it's really out of our control. We can only hope that Kirshner drops. Yes. What? Come on, Jerry. You're gonna be all right. Oh, Jerry? You got a blanket? Put a blanket on. Jerry? Is he all right? Just cover him up. Jerry, Jerry, uh, what happened uh, out there? Uh, step back. Swim that lake suicide. It'll tear that little girl's heart right out. He said swimming that lake is suicide. Kirshner, suffering severe hypothermia, was then brought by ambulance to Youngstone Hospital. Competent windbag. McKinnon? Yes? She wants to see us. Well, poor Mr. Kirshner didn't make it. Lucky, Lucky for you. you. 11 o'clock tonight. swim's going ahead. Oh, well, it's about time. When? Uh, 11 o'clock. And that would be in about, uh, 25 minutes. So. Right. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Wake up! Wake up, wake up! She's going now! Now! Here. Marilyn, honey! Honey, we've got 20 minutes. Get up here. I'll, uh, I'll get the food. Look, camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah, load the whaler. Gus? I'm over. Mark, do you? Do you um, go. Gus? Where's Gus? Oh, God. He went for a walk with your father. Oh, oh. Get your warm up suit on, dear. But I need my rub down. Well, do it yourself, honey. Excuse me. I can't reach everywhere. Um, I, I, I can do it. Thank you, George. Where's the thermos? It's okay. Uh, oh, hey, this isn't uh, grease. It's iodine. Gus doesn't believe in grease. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, where where does it go? Uh, all over. Okay. Uh, we'll sure. we'll do we'll do this quick. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. What are you guys doing? Just, uh, uh, what the hell is going on? Oh, oh God, God, you're here. She's going in 20 minutes. Myron, that Myron fellow no, 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 came in and she said she was up. leaving. You're starting with us. Should have seen this coming. There's no way we can get our boats into position in 20 minutes and they know it. They never wanted a race. Gus, maybe we can't be where we should be, but in 10 minutes I can have both boats right here. It's only a mile out. Maryland could start on time. Swim out and meet us. 
She can't swim alone a mile in the dark. No, Gus, I, I can do it. No, you've never swum alone at night. I'm not gonna let you do it, it's too risky. No, I can do it. No, Marilyn. I wanna do it. Sid helped Grace stow the food. Doc checked the first aid kit in the whaler. Jack, cast off the odd. Harrison, you go get a cab. You're going to be taking her down to the starting point. Ryan, the whaler now. Excuse me. Sorry. Um. You keep your head up. Watch out for other boats. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Watch for my flashlight. Listen for me calling. Okay. You sprint that goddamn mile like there's no tomorrow. Thanks for getting me here. See you on the other side, kid. What's the matter, honey? I'm a little, um, scared of the dark. What? Oh, hey. What could happen to you with all of us standing here, huh? It's okay, you'll be fine. Marilyn Bell, ladies and gentlemen, Marilyn Bell! Karina to Toronto Star. We've been out half an hour. Still no sign of the kid. Marilyn! Honey!
It's been too long, isn't it? Oh, thank God. Jack, move ahead. Marilyn! Marilyn, look out! I tell you about swim with your eyes closed, huh? I didn't. I, I was lost. Well, the hardest part's over. Now let's go catch flow. Come on. There she is. <laughs> I told you she could do it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, Marilyn! Let it go! Lamprey eels. Lakes infested. The light attracts them. Swim! Swim through them! Jen, they're between my legs! Just turn off the damn light! Grab their heads and pull them off you! Touch them? No! That's it, Marilyn! Swim! No, no! Slow down! Keep your pace steady! Conserve your energy! What? I hope you know what you're doing. You want to swim back to Youngstown? Save a spot on page one for the morning, will ya? I got a funny feeling about this kid.
breaks out. Oh my God, this is amazing. We gotta tell Marilyn. Marilyn! Hey! You open your mouth out of turn and I'll kick your ass out of this thing so fast, your teeth will come out of your arms. Never ever speak to her until I tell you to. Now sit down and shut up. Chief, what are you doing here at this hour? Are you kidding? Call everybody in. I want circulation standing by. I want press copy out every hour. This is top of page one stuff. I want a banner. Yankee quits. Marilyn swims to victory. And send a fresh pair of underpants over to McDougal at the telly with my compliments. Now we got a story, don't we? Miss Hedwig, are you really sure that you have to quit? I mean, do you really have to stop? Look, you moron. I've seen better looking pusses in an open casket. Uh, is it? Kids still got it? Yes! yes. Shit! Show of shows ruined! We're dead. You're dead. Hold it. We can still turn this thing around. All we have to do is get behind the kids, see? Switch horses. Yeah, yeah. Um, same show. New star. It, it just might work. It better. Come on, Marilyn. Keep up the pace. Give me 22 strokes a minute at least. I'm going as fast as I can. You're not. You're not kicking. I can't feel my toes. She's exhausted, Ryder. Give her a break. Keep swimming. Come on. Focus. Think. Look up ahead somewhere, Brian. No. No more head games. It's cruel. This is my swimmer. My swimmer. You will do as you're told. Now point. Alive. Look excited about it. Do you have a compassionate bone in your body? This is despicable. Look away when you talk like that. You can see our faces, but she breathes. Just smile. When you smile, smile like it's almost over. You are such an asshole. Long star. Yes, ma'am. She's been swimming for 10 hours. Toronto Star. That's very kind of you, sir. We'll send her the message. This story is breaking all over the place. CBC wants to know if they can broadcast with Jerry's radioing into us. We're going national. International. The Americans want film cameras at the land of TV news. Circulation's running out of newspapers. We're taking cash pledges from every corporation in the city. It's up to 10,000, they're still coming in. Everybody's ticked the CNE isn't backing her up. They all want to make it up to her. Line Marsh. CNE just called the press conference. I am delighted to announce that upon completion of her swim across Lake Ontario, the CNE will be proud to present our Marilyn Bell with a standing cash prize of $7,500. We're rooting for Marilyn. All of her fans should join us down here at the CNE to give her the hero's welcome that she deserves.
Okay, she's drifting off course again. Marilyn! Marilyn! This way, come on, Marilyn, sweetheart. over here. Come on, baby. Marilyn, come on. This way. Follow the boat now, come on. That's it. This is inhuman. She's right out of it. Your tricks don't work anymore. She's got to think of something else, that's all. Karina! Get Joe Cook out here now! She must have swum a good 10 miles off course. She's tired. She's in trouble, that's for sure. Come on, kid, hang in there. And how far is she now, Jerry? Still 12 miles to go. 12? Joan Cook? Is there a Joan Cook here? I'm Joan Cook. What's going on here? Who are you? Mark Harrison, Toronto Star. Gus Ryder sent me to bring you to see Marilyn. She needs you. We have to go now. It's out of question. But, Mr. Gorshinsky. No. Please, Mr. Gorshinsky. No. Gorshinsky, Gorshinsky. How do you spell that? Why? I think the people should know the name of the man responsible for the country's sweetheart failing her swim. I want you to race with her. Get her blood up. You know she loves the race. Well, hello to you, too. Gus, I can't. My clothes are too heavy to swim in. So take them off. <laughs> oh, you're funny. You see, he's not right. I mean, I'd, I'd go in myself, but, but I, I can't swim. Oh, God, she's going under. Somebody help her. <laughs> Marilyn, help her. She's falling asleep again. Joe. My you know what's off. Joan. Please. How far? Really? Oh. Five miles tops. Oh. Said five miles hours ago. Marilyn, why would I lie to you? Oh, I really hope not. Oh. Quick lubberin'. You're making me look bad. Hey. We still got a date to go dancing tomorrow night? Oh. Only at the rate you're going, you'll still be right here. I'm not going that slow. I can whoop you. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Welcome to my show. Will this weather affect the swim? No, no, no not at all. Not, not a problem, huh? But why dwell on the weather? <laughs> you know, I didn't have a moment's hesitation backing Marilyn. Patsy McKinnon, publicity. I knew she was going to be hit from the moment I came up with the idea. Yeah, uh, Myron Peters, sir, special events. I think this will be the best thing that I ever did for this town. <laughs> With her. It's not gonna work twice. Only the current holding her up now. Come on, Marilyn! <laughs> Only another. 
another mile. A mile. You can do this. Hour 19, ladies and gentlemen. Meryl is due in any time now. What the hell is taking her so long? No idea. Sweetheart. I can't. Yes, you can. It's only a half a mile. Come on. I'm too tired. Uh oh. What are they doing here? Mr. Ryder, this is Harbor Patrol. Marilyn hasn't moved in an hour. She's fallen asleep twice. We think it's time she came out. No, no, she's fine. Just stay back. I told you, you pushed her too far. You morons, this is a marathon. This is what it looks like. She wants this. Just be patient. Let her finish. She needs medical attention. She's lost consciousness twice. We will remove her forcibly if necessary. We have our own doctor. Tell him, tell him she's fine. She's not fine. Tell him to take her out. Maybe Gus has lost his perspective. I think you should get her out now, Gus. They don't know her. She loves a fight. No, you love a fight. She just loves to swim. And she can't anymore. She's only made it this far to please you. Now, if you would put your fat head aside no, for a second and get her out of the water. Hey, hey, hey you'll make us capsize. You want the kids to see this? I've always said it's up to Marilyn. I'll ask her. If she wants out, she can get out now. Marilyn! Marilyn! They all said you should quit now. I said it's up to you. Do you want out? I'm sorry. I, I just, <laughs> I want to go home. Fine. Swim here to the boat and we'll get you out. I'm sorry, Gus. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Just swim. <sighs> Move his ahead slowly. What? Shut up, George, or I'll deck you too. Oh, Gus. Just do as I say! He knows what he's doing. God! You said you can't kick. Well, you're kicking. I want out. I can't swim anymore. We all just saw you swim. I hate you. OK. Swim over to the boat. I'll pull you out, I promise. You'll just move it again. Well, I trusted in you. You said you wanted this. <laughs> what did I say? That you make sure I did it. <laughs> oh. oh, sure. <laughs> You just won't give up, will you? I promised. Now just take your time. This is not a race. Jack, let her drift with the current instead of her fighting. 
We'll land over there, ways. We're gonna land west of the CNE by the Boulevard Club. It's easier on her. Come on, Marilyn. Kick. Good girl. You're swimming. Attention, attention please. Due to the offshore current, Maryland will be landing at the Boulevard Club instead of the CNE. What? I repeat, due to the offshore current, Maryland will be landing at the Boulevard Club and not the CNE. Ryder! Ryder! Come here! You must land here! The CNE has hundreds of people waiting for you. trouble again.
sad, sad, sad. You cover up my morning skies. I make you mad, mad, mad. Don't pour me a little honey. I asked you for a little bit of something good. You opened up the sugar like you knew you should, and now you do me right, baby. Keep doing, baby, what you do. You make it sweeter, sweeter, sweet, 'cause sweet is what I need from you. You make it sweeter, sweeter, sweet, 'cause sweet is what I need from you.